guys. <laughs> this is Gwendolyn and for today's video I would like to share with you guys some of my monthly favorites. Actually, we haven't used it longer than a month, but you know. later in the day look at me it's later in the day <laughs> and yesterday i had my eyes checked and they you know they put the drops in to do whatever dilate your the pupil whatever mm -hmm. i swear to goodness my eyes are still irritated today but it's all good so boom need more readers so you guys are not in case. anyway <laughs> so i wanted to share with you guys some of the things that i've been using a lot and i have so many things but i have to narrow it down so i'm going to try to cut through this really quickly but what I'm holding is one of these brushes I've been really enjoying I'm going to try to do a little bit of makeup first but this is the a Sephora a complexion brush I don't know a number I don't see one on here but this brush I love this brush you bought it because it was gold I yeah, sure did and I end up really liking it you guys know I love my artiste is that what they're called I believe so Artis, Artis, or whatever, these brushes, this one feels similar to this. To me, oh well, this is soft, but it's like really, it's like condensed, it's like really, it feels really, it's so soft. I don't it's know. similar though. Yeah, I press feel. like this all the time, so I use these two a lot. I use this one on my brushes dirty. Don't you guys hate with your things, like the things that are shiny, that are really, gets kind of dirty? I do. It bugs me. But I use... <laughs> These two a lot, the Ortiz. I forgot this type. This is one of the, it's written on here. I can't see it very well with my contacts. I'm getting new ones. But it's like, yeah, I guess, more foundation. It it's the large, one of the larger ones. I forgot mm -hmm. the number. But it's one of the larger ones. It's a little dirty. I didn't want to show it. But, and then I've been also using a lot this particular brush. This is also from this collection of Sephora. It's the, it's like a, the wording is on here, it's just written in gold also. But this brush I use for like, like filling in, like if you're gonna mm -hmm. cover a spot or something like that. Like, and it has, um, like what are they called? Like a concealer brush? Yeah, maybe it's a concealer, I think. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I think it says that. You guys know how my contacts go. I don't have to talk about it all the time. I just want somebody to think I'm not intelligent. I'm a pretty intelligent person. I'm just going to tell you. I, I tell you, I truly am. I really am. And it's like with my vision, like I said, one is near, one is far. I always go here. And it's like zoom, zoom, zoom. So it's going back and forth. It's like teasing me. It's like, um, what is it? Like when the camera's refocused. Yeah! <laughs> my... For real, my eyes are constantly trying to focus. I'm not saying it to just... It truly is like if I'm looking out or whatever, looking out at you guys or when I'm walking in a store or whatever, honest to goodness, as I'm looking around outside the world through my windshield, if I'm driving, the, the world is in and out, in and out. And my brain is telling me it's, it's trying to focus on one like thing at, medium. at mm -hmm. a time, totally. But because the contacts that I wear are for reading, I always say this, they're for reading. So therefore, reading... Things are closer, okay? So I'm looking at, I don't need glasses for far vision. I don't mind if I do. I'm not trying to but knock it, because there are some gorgeous glasses out there. Yeah. I totally wouldn't mind. But I, I really do. don't need them for looking just, out, just mm -hmm. out in the world. So I keep my contacts in throughout the day, because I just don't want to pick up to read, exactly. you know, pick up the readers. So therefore, I sacrifice seeing further away. I sacrifice just regular view, things mm -hmm. in my regular view. So I always talk about this, but that's the truth. So the uh, things I normally would see very clear, just yes, normal so. outside of reading, it's like... Ooh, it's funny, but I'm the opposite ooh. of you. I'm nearsighted and farsighted, but I can't see well in the distance at all, but I, re I can read. You guys, everything. I can read in a distance. I promise you, I can literally see in another country. I can. <laughs> I can tell you what's going on right now. Want to know what to know? I can told. I totally you can see very, very. I can see far. really. When, like when I went to get my eyes checked, I know you guys. What is she talking about? Who knows? Look, when this I went to get my monthly favorite. Yes, <laughs> monthly favorite. My eyes are my favorites. Well, look. It's so, oh my contacts are. I do love them. I forgot the the brand, but they're monthly 
I take them out every day, of course, because they're readers. But as I was getting my eyes checked when my when the optometrist took the, the contacts on, well, he had me take them out. He didn't take them out. He had me take them out. I could read the chart down to that complete. I know. I cannot. Like, who wrote it? Who made the chart? <laughs> I, it was really funny, but I when I put the contacts in, I was like, well, I had to do one eye at a time. But anyway, it's like, I have that weird vision, and Lexi does too. Sorry, you're burping. Okay, but I love these brushes. <laughs> ah, what do I have to do with brushes? Who knows? And this one, you guys, is another Sephora brush, but this one is probably, Lexi may look at it and guess. See, it has a little what dip the there. Um, I use it, I go you? around. Just, like in here okay. and fill in spaces there, even though I need to touch up. I've been here, running around today. It's driving me crazy. Oh, oh, oh we're trying to reach one another. We got it. Oh. <laughs> we are so what dramatic. Like we truly are. Which one is, what is? It's, an, it's a shadow brush, all over shadow. Okay. That's good. That makes sense. Because I use, we can throw it. But anyway, I use these a lot, like pretty much every day. And this one pretty much all the time. You mentioned time. earlier you like your brushes clean. I don't have anything shiny that I have to clean I at love, home. I but if brushes. I did, I would like them clean. I like this little brush I do too. I love this little brush. This is Esther Lott, Estee, Estee Lauder. Just a flat, like a, I think it's supposed to be a Are those one of those foundation brushes? Foundation brushes. brushes. It's supposed to be, but it's one to take with you. Mm -hmm. But you know, I like it. You guys know why. Guess what? Ooh, yeah, because it's cool. <laughs> Love the coloring so, but I like it. I keep it with me anyway. These I use all the time, all the time. So, no matter what I'm wearing, I pretty much reach for those. Unless I'm going to do bare minerals, and you know what? You know, bare minerals has its own brush. Mm -hmm. I've been using that a lot of the monthly last month and this month as well. Yes, into so. the new year. The little I take this little one with me all the time, the bare mineral little travel size. With, I've shown this before. I'm going to put these down. I just don't want to mark on my bed. But with the... I don't think I have any makeup in here. I don't remember. I don't this is so. a compact for the loose powder. Mm -hmm. But you know how Bare Minerals is with the brush. I've shown this a thousand times. But with that little brush. But I don't use because... Why? You don't guess. want to get it dirty. Oh yeah! <laughs> don't want it dirty. So I, won't put, I won't put anything in. Oh, yes, she has problems. Yes, I do. There's a lot of stuff that mom has makeup like that she... It took her a long time to use those gold Sephora brushes. It took... She had them almost for a year before she, she used them. She just had them up on their stand because she didn't I want totally to get the beauty. You guys know what? I don't know if you guys experienced that with the bare minerals, but this thing scratches a mm -hmm. little bit my skin. My bare minerals brush that I have, the real tiny one Make that came with my thing, it's certain bristles. Maybe I need to clean it, but a certain bristles yeah, is like they get hard, it. and I think I just need to clean maybe it. Maybe I need to clean it. Again. When I used it used first, it. it wasn't like that, but now that I, I use it so I much. I think that's what it is. It's kind of a giveaway that, mm -hmm. I, that I, I didn't clean, clean it. it. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm guessing. Pro I probably need to clean it, right, you guys? Because I'm thinking as soon as it's clean, maybe it's softer. I think it but I've only used it maybe three times. But I'm still not saying it doesn't need to be clean. But it bothers me a little bit. So when I put on Bare minerals. Sometimes I use one of these, and I buff with this. Sorry, I do. You know what? I th I think I want a softer brush. Yeah. To buff it. Because if want, I'm gonna, just want my brush. I again. But when I buff in my makeup with my bare minerals, it is a harder brush. I have softer brushes that I can use. I just haven't used them. I won't take that thing off. But anyway, haven't been using that as much. I know. These are my bare minerals. I keep in this thingy separate. I like the the different little colors whatever I'm not gonna go through but you guys get the point bare minerals been using that a lot because I have what is it the eczema or eczema? something e eczema what do people call it I actually it? can't not remember how people pronounce it I don't know what it's called you guys know not eczema. not sir no it's not that not that what did I say eczema eczema eczema, eczema? I don't want to say something that's an STD <laughs> I have the box that has it on there I also know I have something where I get the dry the patches. The dry patches of skin on your face. I, I get that. Too so if I'm pronouncing it wrong, don't you guys go there and say she got something? No, I don't. I use that, that First Aid Beauty Coffee. moisturizer 
for I my, was using that and it was giving me a little bit. It is for sensitive skin. I use, that's what I use. I clear, I, my, I don't know, certain things just work better for my skin versus yours and vice versa, I've noticed. So, certain things you use, I can't use. That was use. bothering me. But, that was bothering me a lot. But, the brush. Mm -hmm. So, but so I want to go back through a few things. I've been enjoying a lot. I mean, using a lot. The court, look at that. The court is on. Look at Look at how it's run down. That a lot. I love this complexion. This um, Estee Lauder. The also double the double wear. That what is that thing you call? Because it's running off. It's come running off. It's coming off the maximum, maximum coverage. coverage. What is that? Camouflage. Mm -hmm. I love this. I didn't like that one as much. I love the camouflage I mean, because I like it's it an odd first. color, and it's really. It's like intense. Mm -hmm. So you put on a little bit and then you go in and fill in where you're going to darken. Yeah. You no, it's not that I don't like it. It's just for me. But I, like I wasn't, it. I didn't change how I'm doing my makeup until I talked to you recently. But I was having a hard time getting my makeup to stay on with any foundation that I was using. This. She said makeup staying on this right here. The um, Urban Decay All Nighter. This has been the best. Stay on. I haven't tried that What's the stuff you, what do you call it? Setting, Setting spray. spray? That's I've ever used. I used and I have the, the oilist. I used the Too Faced one. I haven't tried any of the Urban This is Decay's. really good. Lexi mentioned it. I love the Urban Decay. And she just that got me this one. That one's my favorite. Lexi just bought this one oh, for me. The Hangover 3 in box. 1. Oh, she's going to go zoom in on that. that one. She, probably, she paid for it. See, she didn't zoom in when we well, put that the one pink. that I oh, had. I can zoom out for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. No, Look it's because the box has a glare. It's so pretty. She bought it because it's pink. No, I but she, her, she says that you guys think this one is really, really good. I like, I like it. that one. I'm not sure, to be honest, if it's better or equal to this one. This one has been the best to me. But this may be working well, but you know what? I change up things a little mm -hmm. bit. Like I've been using more Bare Minerals, and I gave you the primer. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I like the primer. That's what I did not do. I didn't put on... When I use these, I know I'm doing it totally incorrectly, probably. I don't like to use a lot, lots of primer. But, okay, both of these work well without primer mm -hmm. but i know you should use primer i use so. primer. the pink one the that's Too Faced is a primer as well this one's supposed to be both it's both so three well three in one what it's is, supposed what? to be a prime set and refresh silicone free alcohol free oil free that's why i used that one just because it it works well for me i'm gonna it's buy another good. one okay i think well i was using me. this one with the primer i think the old i can't remember but this, they're both really good. I get really oily like most people in a tea zone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for me, either I don't like when I can touch my face later and I can remove a little bit of makeup. Mm -hmm. So, but the thing is, I did change. I did not use a primer with this one. This one's supposed to have primer in it, but I can move. I could use a napkin, a Kleenex or whatever, mm -hmm. and I can move makeup a little bit with this. Sorry. Well, I want it back then. But you... I'm just kidding. We know how, but it matters with our. It just it matters how I use it. I am not to doing things totally correct. I don't believe, and I would admit to that. But I do like them a lot. I love this one. I like this one a lot. I got to make sure I'm using it correctly. For that one, I use even though I use it Where's as a primer, box? I put a primer on first. Maybe then that's I what I need that. to do. Then I put my makeup on. Then I set it. But you're not supposed to be doing all the primer. You got primer in it. Oh yeah, they didn't blow up the price for you, but anyway, like it. Like I do like it. I've been enjoying the Fit Me. This I've been really liking this daily when I'm not wearing bare minerals, or sometimes I blend them. But this one is the number. Is that the number three eighty three thirty eight? Yeah, yes, well, that's the number that I. Believe. Spicy brown. Ooh, he's spicy. So spicy. So something else on there. Mm, something but spicy brown or whatever the, num the number 338 I have used the fit me foundation like for it. contouring I haven't used it actually for my face these together mm -hmm. what did I use a primer I don't remember using a primer because I don't have it around but these two together spray my face first put some makeup on it keeps this on Yes, well. my, my skin and nothing skin, stays, nothing on, stays me. on ok so I've been enjoying that a lot you guys and the little, what is this? Everybody uses this. The Urban Decay, Decay. Like, um, eye, 
potion or something thingy. Called. Mm -hmm. And I put it here while I have larger pores, like four of them right here, mm -hmm. to keep things from settling in the pore area. Oh, that's area. what works for that for you? That's just what I do. So, it's I supposed just to be for it. your eyeshadow. But if it keeps it from creasing, yeah. I put it there that's a little true. bit. So I do that. I've been enjoying that a lot. I'm not going to go through all this makeup because I've been using all of this stuff, but and this a lot. Your LA girl. LA girl. Pro concealer. Doing that. I don't have a lot of really darker places to be honest. I don't have any. I just do it to help balance my skin out a little bit. So I just streak a little bit and mm -hmm. then rub it in a little bit just to balance out from the sun differences yes, in my skin or whatever. So those are the main things. Of course I've been using a Dynair for my lips. The Not the Pucker Up. I have a new one. You have a new one? I have new types, new ones. I don't know what they call them. They may still call them Pucker Up, but I use Dynair lipstick almost all the time. And that's ladies, that's a boy. What's the, that chick's name? That's a um, thingy. The lip syncs or something? It's called? this right here. This girl stuff. Yeah, lip syncs. Mm -hmm. I've been wearing the red sometimes for that. One of my friends sells it now. So that and. Just while we're still in makeup a little bit. You guys, I know everybody used the Clarisonic. Not everybody. Why do you say that? But, you know, for the people that use these, have you guys noticed that you sit it on your charger? I did. I sit it on my charger for a long, long, long time. One thing, I have two. I have a white one and this color. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, I sit it. I just put it in the holder yes, and leave yeah. it sitting there and it's plugged up so it's charging. But, when I go to take it off later, if I wait too long... Mm -hmm. It doesn't turn on. It's like, mm, mm. I'm like, oh, ooh, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> This thing, I'm like, look, you guys are $300 yourself on or something. These things are not cheap, right, yeah. you guys? They're not cheap. And this thing, went, mm, it was like, I'm like, oh my gosh. Thought to myself, bing, lights went off. I was like, lights bulb, good lights bulbs went off. <laughs> bing. I was thinking, maybe it's overcharged. Just saying. Maybe it needs to. Mm -hmm. So I take it off of the cradle, the charging dock, let it just sit on the counter, just leave it there for a while, because remember I have two, so I just leave it sitting, leave it for a while, days, however long, I go back later, <laughs> booyah, and it turns on! So if you discover that it's not, that it's not turning on, it could be, I don't know what you call it, but I'm guessing it's overcharged. One time I removed the head off of mm -hmm. it and put it back on, did a few things. Start, I just stopped messing with it. I just take it off the cradle, the charging dock, mm -hmm. and let it just lie down on the counter for days need be. I just used the other one. But I know for people that don't have another one, I would, I think, I but could be wrong, for a few hours don't let it charge it forever. Like mm -hmm. I would leave my sitting for days and days and days. Because like I said, I do have two. Or sometimes I use something else. Yes, ma'am. Like a little buffer or something mm -hmm. not use one in my opinion i could be totally wrong but it works for me if i leave it off the dock if it if it's been sitting for days mm -hmm. it will start charging back up because i've had this one and i've had the white one longer for years years mm -hmm. years i don't know how many years i've had them for a few years so they'll never change whatever i don't know if they change batteries i, like I don't think you, can, you can't open i guess you just need a new one but anyway they do work when Take it off the dock for a while. I did. Something I do once in a while, should do more. Don't tell me. Oh, yes. Is my glow. This is a teeth whitening. The glow system. I'm using Boom. It. Like it so much. I've shown it a while ago. And I was reading it back to avoid damage to your device. Okay. So, this you guys know for the ones that do know. You know, it's one of the, your tooth, your teeth thingy is in here. Your tray is in here. I haven't used it. For what you put in your mouth. It's in here. If I can take it out. It's in here, this thingy. And it glows when you, let me see if I can plug it up. Plug it up to this. This sits on a charger, which is here. You plug this into the wall. Your little device here. Oops. <laughs> Too slow. It sits on there. This is where around your neck. 
or wherever you want to wear it. I'm going to put it around my neck so when I'm going throughout the day because it sits for it. You, you sit, you put this part in your mouth for I think five minutes at mm -hmm. a time, three I think it's five sessions. Yeah, so I think I charged it. If I did, you, <laughs> you, once again, it needs to be maybe it needs to be maybe this. No, make it work. There it is. See, that's cool. This charges, and it's like I got a few. It's like when you look at these closer, more rings light up around here when it's fully charged. Mm -hmm. And as it's charging, you would know you'll see the rings flashing as it's charging. See? And you put that in your mouth. You put the solution on, of course. You put the solution on your teeth. You hold this in your mouth. And you keep this on for like... And this is going to stay on. It's on, it's on a timer. Mm -hmm. It's a set timer. So it stays on for, I think, three to five minutes. Yes, I believe it was five minutes. For three sessions. You turn it back on. You rinse. You take this out of your mouth. You rinse it. Just rinse it. Put it back, put more solution on, put it back in your mouth, and you click your button back on. The button would turn off when your first when few done. minutes are up. It turns itself off. Really good system, the glow. I'm actually going to use it coming up. See, it would turn itself off when it's actually at its five minute peak, and you do it three times, and you would know when you have enough time, you actually have enough solution to use three times in a row. So it's a 15 minute ish situation going yes, on here. It's like 15 minutes, I think the whole thing is. So, pretty good, the glow. Oh wait, I can use it while I'm here. Yeah, it's a really good thingy, and I like it a lot. It's a little bit pricey, but I love it. You could buy a lot of the, but the, the little to solutions. To buy the, the strips and stuff yeah. in the store, those are pricey. They're pricey. The little solutions, you can keep buying those. You buy a few of those. You could buy... They have this stick that you take with you. You just put on ever so often to you freshen your teeth a little bit. And it's something else. It has a toothpaste. I do have the toothpaste. So, but I got to do my session for coming up. I didn't do my session. So it has its own tray where that goes in. That mouthpiece goes in here. This glow. It has a little holes in the back for ventilation. So really good. Boom, oh, you've been enjoying that a lot. I got to get into, oh my, oh, look what I've carried, you guys. <laughs> oh yeah, time for, yes, time for my purse. Look at that. This is my Kate Spade, my Hayden. Because you guys know my son's name is Hayden. I have a bag by Henry, Henry Bendel. That's a Lexi, Lex. a Lex. Mm -hmm. Alex, whatever. I, not Alex, but Lex. Just L -E -X. L -E -X. Lex. I think it's L E X. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I got to need a Monica and a London and a Gabriel for our babies. Okay. So, but this is Hayden. So he wanted me to have a bag representing his name. So I ordered the Kate Spade. <laughs> I, can't. I think it's super cute. And it's a Hayden. I like that. H A Y D E N. Just like his name is spelled. And I've been carrying this one. This is what's new for Christmas. I'll go in detail later how much I like it. And the things that I put in here, you guys, in this bag were what fits in my, well, lots more fits in the Speedy, a whole lot more. The Speedy 30, but putting it in this bag, it wasn't heavy. All the things that I put in there, mm -hmm. I forgot the, the size of this and everything. I don't remember because I'm going to go in detail with it later. I just yeah. want to show you guys I've been carrying this one. And I'll just show you a little bit. It's so neatly arranged. See how the top has the zipper and everything on the top like that. And it comes out a little bit like a Celine, I think it's called. See there, it's so nice. I think it's super nice. Isn't that a beautiful I think it's bag? Really cute. You guys, you can tell me. I, I, I don't mind if you tell me. It's beautiful. It has the thingy here. I just have it tucked down in there where the zipper could go all the way across. See there, the removable straps. And I have it neatly, I think. Yeah, your bags my, are always neat. Your Nintendo Switch. See there, inside. I'll go in detail so later neat. with the bag. But, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't wait to tell you guys more about it. Love it, love it. And it's adjustable, the strap and everything. Beautiful. But you got to come back, I'll tell you more about it. 
But <laughs> I've also I've enjoyed my Hayden by Kate Spade. You guys, I've been playing the oh, look. Lexi got me this for right before Christmas because mm -hmm. she knew they were going to probably sell out this switch. I know you guys know what it is. I know so many people got it. What's that older grand, grown lady doing with it? Oh! I'm oh. glad you like it. You guys, deal. I have been enjoying this system beyond so much. I was just like, see, boy, me this one. I'm on the, we have been playing the Mario, what is this called? Mario Odyssey. Odyssey. You guys, I'm like, the first night, on Christmas night, Hayden and I were playing, well, he has his own. She bought him one and she bought me one. And so we play together so with the same. So his came for Christmas. I got mom's a little bit before Christmas. Yeah. I had to pre-order his. His has the two red because mm -hmm. he has he the. He has the Mario edition because he has the Mario, the Mario edition. Stuff, so I exactly. had to pre-order his. This one was, it came with, did it come with a game? Which game? No, ma'am. I bought, I bought Zelda with that one. I do have Zelda. And. But, it's something. What with the Mario? That one was just the system. You and guys. I, I just bought games with it. For the people that know better. Yeah, I know. You're right. For the people that know, it's on the real. You guys, I'm like in the, on Mario, the first day Hayden and I both were playing. I'm on like, it's just been a few days since Christmas. I know somebody probably further, but for me, I'm on the, the new dark war moon mm -hmm. or something. Yes, ma'am. But then we have to compensate, too, for the fact that you can't just play. I can't just play all through the day. But I've accumulated over 500 of the moon. The, moon. the little moon should collect. Mm -hmm. but <laughs> I know somebody out there got more, but don't you worry about it. Because, like, I have to teach Hayden. It's like I got all these excuses. I have to teach my son. I have to go to these appointments. I have work to do. Have I have to, to do mom. my own office work. <laughs> I have to study. I have a lot of things I have to do. So, for you guys that go, got to further, okay, sure. But I love this the system love it love it love it you guys that know about you, glad the switch like you can play you for the ones that know you know but for the ones that don't a good investment you can play these with the controller holding them in your hands like this for the ones on that don't TV know or on you could connect there. it to your your controller like a we used to call a joystick i don't I know what call they call them, i still call, they call them a joystick stick. and you could connect this i to mean that they're controllers but and hold on to it that way and keep mm -hmm. it stabilized but i just i do this as well and you know you could play it on tv as well as carrying this with you i took this to me with to me with me today to the music studio when when i'm waiting on hayden to start his session i play my switch like while i study or something yes or psp this thing is this was a brilliant idea. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this is brilliant. And I know people that get get it, like talk about it's brilliant. So anyway, I've been playing this to death. Every chance I get, the Switch. Thank you, Lexi Poo. You're welcome. Been enjoying that to me. Oh, oh, oh. You guys, <laughs> I have been killing. <sighs> I've been rolling to my, oh, before I get into my coffee, really quick, I'm not gonna go, roll, go into that too deep. But, oh, you know what? This has been, I've been using this one with thinking about makeup. I'm sorry to jump around, but things are just kind of scattered. Stuff. This is the 24 hour Edge Tamer Extreme Firm Hold by Eben, Eben, whatever, E B I N, Eben. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is really good. Bought this at one of the local. The, la the lady at the store said it, she sells out of it all the time. The local, yeah, my local beauty supply, supply place. And it's um, the African Americans on this one. It's not, you know, typically you walk in there, you see, you know. Mm -hmm. But, booyah! Here you go, girls. <laughs> but this is really good. This is really good. It's like a, it's a clear gel. Oh, I like how it looks on the inside. Yeah, it's like clear. It looks like, um, like aloe. Or and I use it because my my edges like pretty much lie down anyway, but. I just like it because, I don't know, it's just to keep them from, you know how they get mine just go in different directions yeah, sometimes. Yeah. They just, they're with my edges to go in different directions. Like they're, they're, they're not real curly. So mm -hmm. they, it, they, it's easy for me, but I like it. I like Your it a lot. But I, oh, I like it because it doesn't flake. It's not mm -hmm. flaky. I don't like things like that. So I like it a lot. And it's still... I can still feel like the softness in it. I'm thinking you could probably use 
this and maybe dry blow dry it mm -hmm. on it but I'm sure people probably do that do the blow dryer or something to make it more something yeah I don't know I don't use I don't split heat to my hair almost never almost, I don't know when almost never I, I don't I don't go through all that pampering it's been months I don't I put heat on my hair I don't pamper my hair Lexa isn't wearing her, her locks mm -hmm. oh my glow thingy comes and comes in this it little, little so bag it makes it so much easier that's what the glow the little bag Okay, I've been enjoying that a lot. Okay, now let's go into a little bit of things I've been enjoying to eat. Oh, well, no, first this. You guys, this is so good. This is by the company Williams, I think Sonoma, Sonoma. And it is a French lavender. This is a countertop spray. And it has in it like... It says blended with geranium and sage, some kind of clary sage or something. I can't. Let me you know, it's boom, 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 boom. It's really, oh, wow. really good. This is countertop spray because you guys know I have the tile countertops. Mm -hmm. And the French lavender dish soap with essence oils. And things like that, and geranium, and things like that. It's, I think it's supposed to be more natural, I think, if I'm not mistaken. However, they use it, it's supposed to be better or healthier yes, yeah. for the environment. I think that's what it is. I have these two, and I have this is a dish soap. This one is the, like I said, a counter spray, and it smells yeah. so good. Oh my gosh, when you spray it. It smells so good, huh? You can smell lavender. I use everything yes. lavender. I bathe in it. And this one, I haven't, of That's course, you I haven't opened this one yet. Cleaner. This is the all-purpose all cleaner. cleaner. And it, as I spray, I've been using the countertop spray the most. Oh my gosh, it smells. It smells good, but it's not overpowering. And it's it dries nice. quickly. It's not greasy, mm -hmm. or it's not not it's greasy, but it, but it's not. No that, it's not oily. No mm -hmm. residue at all. So I've loved this. And this I ordered online, but I believe there's a store in the area. I think there's a store in my area mm -hmm. that's it's amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing product. Okay, real quick. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, next. really quickly. I keep saying quickly, we're already in two hours. You guys, I've been enjoying this so much. The iRobot. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because you guys know about it. The, I'll link which her one is video, it? the 690. 690. I'll link her video below. Enjoy. You, know, you guys know I used to. One upstairs and one downstairs. The Tom and a Jerry. That's what I named them. Amazing, amazing. Keep them on a schedule. Every morning I get up. And I, you know what? I set them to, to the schedules if I need to get up for something. Like on certain days I need to be up earlier than others. I set my robot for that today and I hear it and it will wake me up just in case anyway just in case I hear the robots going so like some days they're like set for 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. and you hear the robots you're like okay I got to get up anyway Booyah, smart bro yes <laughs> love love one of the best investments I've ever made because I don't get up and just do my floors whatever boom got to no, it has me they're dead like I got you going to win okay I've been enjoying that I have to show this. I don't care how long this video is going to take, you guys. I have to tell you. Look. This Cascade 500. What in the world is that? Look. For you guys out there, you ladies, men, which I say guys, that's a general speaking. Not any particular gender. Just make that clear. So, this. If you have, like, any type of an aquarium, especially, like, reptiles, which are, like, um, something like a, the tur I have turtles, the red ear sliders. The nastiest, mm -hmm. the nastiest turtles, as far as the upkeep, probably out there. They're huge. They were super tiny when I first got them from a neighbor. They were super tiny. They were older. And they were super tiny. They were now they're already, larger. They were already two. They were already two. And they were like that small, you guys. Mm -hmm. But she admitted that she didn't want, you know, they weren't for her. They are for her daughter. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, so the red ear sliders are what I take care of. And I have them in a 50, 50 gallon. gallon. And I have two of them in there. And I do the water like a little bit, a few inches off the bottom of the water. Then I have these docking stations in there that are these type of rocks that are filters. 
and you can see the little water overflowing on this bed. Next, I'll show you a picture of a little. Mm -hmm. I can't remember oh, the name picture. of them, but I don't have the box for those. So if you have anything like that, reptile, especially the turtle. I'm not saying all the reptiles, let's go ahead and play that. But the turtles are good. This, this one here, I'm telling you, I... How often do I clean the tank, Lexi? Or you clean the tank? How often do we clean the tank? We don't really clean Not the tank. We don't have maybe to Maybe the max really, twice a year. Yeah. We don't have to really go through a lot of work of cleaning I'm, the tank. You guys, look, let's, let, let's be clear. Let, let, let me be really clear about this really quickly. I know this is going to take a minute, but look. And don't say, oh, well, she just deal with no. You're not going to smell in Gwen's house. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. I don't play animals having odors and things. I don't. I'm not that person. Oh, no, no. And especially it's right outside of my room. Mm -hmm. oh, I can smell anything. I have yeah, a really, have a really, really sensitive, sensitive nose. nose. So I'm not into the animals not being fresh. That water, I'm telling you, it stays so clear with this type of a filter. I had to research and research myself. I kept buying stuff on the market. These people were telling me this and that and other. And I kept reading. I was just tired of it. And I decided to go for something... I don't know what made me try this particular one, but I'm glad I did because this keeps that tank clean. I don't remember either. It keeps I, know you I remember asked asking the, the guy store. in PetSmart, how mm -hmm. does he keep the tank clean? He opened up the bottom in Petco. Pets, pets, Petco. And the guy yeah. opened the bottom of the tank with the red air sliders. And he had this huge filtration. Yep. I'm thinking, how can I mimic that? And so anyway, that's what I ended up and researching. And I kept yeah. researching on my own. Kept asking a bunch of questions. People kept, I kept buying. I don't know how many filters I've owned before this mm -hmm. one. And my tank stayed a mess. Yeah. This thing has a water fountain. Like, not a water fountain. Like a water. What is it? Like a, what is it? The, where the water just keeps flowing through the little uh, holes. They, oh, I can't remember. But what's like a thinking? waterfall? like a waterfall it has that it has a part that goes it's not really pretty to look at to be honest but i keep it on the side of my tank and it's it sits on a little table i keep next to it it's not that pretty i had a plant around it but i'm like it is what it is but anyway yeah. it keeps that tank clean yeah i was and gonna the, say it keeps the tank clean. but my tank way. stays pretty clear the turtles all the time it has an telling you the best i've ever watched so if you have anything like that have turtles this is the way to go. Maybe there's different sizes, I think. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to show that. This is important. It is the way to go. It shows you how to set it up and everything on the back, but this is really amazing. I, I used to stay to that. The, the pictures and stuff. Okay, so I had to show this. If you guys want to ever know anything, a little bit more detail about it, I promise you I can walk you through it. The thing is amazing. So that, that, and the last thing I've been really, really down to the last few days, my peppermint bark. Been enjoying this a lot. You guys, have you guys had this? I tried it for the first time. Yes, I have had it. It's a chocolate and white chocolate and peppermint and everything. It's really good, isn't it? From old school, something, something William. One of our students at the dojo Sonoma, brought everyone same company. a jar. I, don't, I think it's the same company. Williams. So, and this has been around for... Mm. I said it wasn't a anyway, long time, long time. Anyway, really good. Been enjoying <laughs> long that time, long time. a lot. Hayden loves that too. Been enjoying this a lot. These little veggie veggie crisps. crisps. These are so good to me. They're veggies. They have tomatoes, um, spinach, tomatoes, pota potatoes, and it's all in sea salt. So good. These little veggies. I got these from Amazon. Boom. Good. And I've been killing. <laughs> you guys, I've been killing coffee. I know you guys know I love coffee. I love cappuccinos, but I've been drinking coffee as well. Boom. You guys watch this addiction. Okay, the type of coffee I've been using is, oh, I buy so many different brands. This one is, I think by Duncan. I can't remember. Oh, I hate to, I can't remember the name. I'll remember it in another video. Can't remember that they have a lot of different flavors, and I've been enjoying the banana. Um, something banana. Ah, oh, I can't remember the name of it. The type of coffee, bananas, something. So good. Those things I've been enjoying. But I've been really into creamers. You guys, look at these creamers. Boom! Do you guys know about Cold Stones? Cold Stones, awesome. Oh, best ice cream things in the world. I have this one. This is the sweet cream from by Cold Stones. I've, I use... White chocolate raspberry. 
Boom. Two. You can actually taste the flavoring. Oh, I just keep this one on hand for company. <laughs> Pe peppermint mocha. That's for company. <laughs> My vanilla caramel. Vanilla caramel. Boom. Four. The girls got a problem. Look, you guys. Chocolate caramel. Oh my gosh. I make this. I make, I use this one. Who is this? International Delights Hershey's, Hershey's for this one. You guys, look. I make Hayden a coffee that tastes like hot cocoa with this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I promise you these creamers matter. That's one. That's one. Can you reach the other one? And I have there? one more. Oh, wait, you guys. Look. Caramel macchiato. Uh -huh. <laughs> By this, um, the International Delight. So good. I have some other ones somewhere, probably somewhere, in my other little fridge. You guys, I kill it. I kill. I will make you some coffee. I'm telling you. I mean, your coffees <laughs> are really delicious. I'm telling you. But I put the my caramel. Coffee. What is it? Um, amaretto. Amaretti. Amaretti. I put the amaretti on the bottom first. The caramel um, amaretti. I put a little bit of that on the bottom of my cup. Then I put my creamer in because my creamer is usually in the fridge. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be cool and I like, I like my coffee really hot. I know it's not very hot tonight because I've been talking a lot. But I like it really hot so I put the creamer on the bottom on top of the caramel amaretti. Yeah. So I don't use just regular sugars. I know I use no regular sugars at all. None. And then so I put those together. Then let the coffee pour down on it. Oh, oh my gosh. You're so come on. hilarious. But Somebody come on. I'm Your telling you, is really delicious, it is amazing. It is amazing. Anyway, so that's what I've been doing. Enjoying that stuff. I know this video is going to be too long. I'm so sorry, you guys. It's just stuff. I got so much stuff to show you guys. But don't forget to get your turtle on, get your uh, eye robots <laughs> on, get your makeup your on, get your coffee on. <laughs> sorry, I guess. I always say I'm sorry for being late. I'm always. It's just part of my videos. And I'm just going to say when I'm not because it's just like a cliche. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry for being late. <laughs> Lexi's been under the weather. I always got an excuse. Always Lexi. Yes, can always be Lexi. <laughs> She's been under the weather. I was sick. Hayden was under the weather. Elizabeth. It is what it is. We've been at, oh my gosh, we have flooding this about here, you guys. But do it raining or flood? Because can we pick one? <laughs> Burning or we're drowning. <laughs> Callie, can you can you pick one? And I can't swim. I read that fire. You're no, just so kidding. Lord, I'm sorry. Silly. I'm kidding. Don't burn. Please don't burn anymore. But so that's what's been going on. Women have a habit of always saying we're sorry for stuff. Unless we're talking to a man. I never apologize to a guy. That's Almost different. never. Sorry. Sad. Yes. Men, don't watch this. I have a problem. I apologize to men. But we always say, we, you know, you don't talk to a girlfriend for a while. Yeah. It's like, I'm they sorry. Go through, oh, girl, I've been, I've been I said busy. that tonight to my friend. Men I forgot don't. to text her that's earlier. That's my understanding. Yeah. They just Chris pick up the, like, like they've been talking to each other yesterday and, and they haven't I'm spoken sorry, for 10 I years. Talk, I didn't text you. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Uh, for you guys that do, I apologize for you. But the ones I know, they don't. They just go right. They can not talk to you for 10 years. Gonna pick back up. Ooh, girl, how you doing? Wait a minute. Hold up. Don't we have like a 10-year gap here? Just saying. But anyway, that's why I have a habit of saying that. Sorry if I do it all the time. But this, it's a habit. I apologize to you guys. But all the rest of the world? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you guys for sticking around. I enjoy talking to you guys so much. And it's late today, so I'm sorry if I don't look the best. My eyes are a little bit irritated. Sorry. Don't, don't, don't tell me. Just, just don't. Let's, let's keep that between me and you. You're so silly. Enjoy myself, you guys. Remember to turn on the dingy dingy. We know how the thingy goes. What's the thingy? Notifications. Look over there, yarn. What's wrong with that girl? Notifications. <laughs> Notifications. Thank you for that. Turn those on. She's over there, yarn. She's just all. She's just. Should I keep her? You guys, let's be much people. No, I'm joking. But thank you so much for everything. Have a good rest of the week. I think we're like on today is Tuesday, Wednesday, Today's Wednesday, Wednesday. Wednesday. You guys have a good rest of the week. I'll be back soon, I hope. Take care of yourselves. And remember to like, like comment, comment, and, and subscribe. subscribe. Bye, you Bye. guys. Sorry for the video being too long. Sorry, sorry. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>